self-documentation and reflection it is officially my first day substantially packing it's january 5th i feel like this is going to come back to bite me in the ass in the universe just i'm packing to go where i believe is mine and it doesn't sound convincing but it's because i'm just scared i'm scared and nervous and like my mom <laughs> Yep, done. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> uh, how do I feel, guys? I don't know. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is everything I am. All right, gonna keep packing. So, <laughs> how far have we gotten? That's the question. Look! Empty. Empty, oh my god. <laughs> Empty, I, as always, I have dirty dishes. <laughs> oh, empty. Oh, empty. That's not mine. These are just my snacks that I'm finishing. Yep. These are all going in here, but I'm still using some of these items. And these are Christmas stuff, wine glasses. These are my Sims game. This is everything that I'm throwing out. Um, these are that whole bucket is candles that's going to the new house. Those are my sneakers um, Sneaker boxes This bag is gonna hold everything that I'm still using so up to the last minute I'll just throw everything in there. I'm gonna clarify this a little bit those TV that I don't use <laughs> but um, This is trash but I'm gonna use it for stuffing. This is my painting stuff and all my stuff for my desk. Um, I haven't started on my bedroom yet, but the good thing about my bedroom is that everything literally is already in containers. So this, I'm just gonna put packing tape around it so the drawers don't fall out. These, I'm gonna throw in here. This, I'm gonna dismantle. Just gonna wrap the bed. Again, this can just, they're just already containers. I'm gonna do laundry. And then as you see, this is already a container, so. I'm excited that I'm making this video, though. I'm talking to myself, I'm journaling, I guess. Video journaling. Um, last time I moved, it was, I don't know. It, was, it wasn't what I wanted. I don't even know how this one feels. I think once I have everything signed and I have the lease, I'll feel more certain. So I'm supposed to go see the apartment again today. Um, to take pictures and then just give it a one over one more time and uh, yeah I think after that I'll feel more certain so okay so really quick I'm about to go see um, my apartment again for like the second time this is the one that I really want the lighting is so bad I do hope I get it look how beautiful the elevator is though <laughs> um, I'm very excited and nervous I really want this apartment self um i don't know talking to myself i guess um so i love this apartment um a lot and i've seen so many so far and the road just seemed kind of endless <laughs> um so i'm actually gonna hand in an application um, apparently there's another competitor for the place um, it is January 8th 2019 and I feel like I'm going to throw up my entire inside because I'm applying for an apartment <sighs> how did it get here it's interesting so um, one step short of excitement is sheer madness so I just feel <laughs> Whatever word that describes. So that's how I'm feeling right now. So I've seen the place twice already. Um, I think I want to see it again. <laughs> and um, yeah. Yeah. So thus that skin isn't getting any better. This feels great though. really proud of myself. 
and I'm here at this yoga studio, 2019 vibes. I'm here with someone. I don't know where she went. She'll be back. So, your girl went to her first class yoga. It was good overall. I mean, they like, they like make noises. Some people, oh, I'm getting a smell. That's what I'm washing my face. I'm gonna like make noises some people and it was a lot of white people. But I think it was good. Um, I'm actually thinking about going back tomorrow morning. The smell kills me. My face. Oh. What am I doing wrong? What do you need? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do some skincare right now. So this weird smell that I get, I really don't know what to do about it. I feel like sometimes. I'll like use products and it'll work and then other times it won't and the smell will come it'll come and it'll stay maybe like 30 20 minutes so I'll wipe and stuff and it'll go away but recently it's been coming even after I clean my skin so if you guys have any suggestions let me know right now I'm just doing my hyper cleanse and I'm scrubbing which is not good for my skin but oh okay now to appease the skin gods I'm going in with spa life cheap thrill weekend detoxifying bubbling charcoal mask this caught my attention because it says that our charcoal mask combined with carbonated bubbles will help cleanse the face by removing oil and sebum and dead skin cells now Google has taught me a while back that sebum is what is giving me the smell and it comes from the nose around the mouth and under the chin. If this mask specifically is formulated for removing sebum, then this, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to date in 2019 and I can't kiss anyone if I smell. <laughs> okay, let me do this. Okay, so <laughs> I have some thoughts already. One, this is supposed to help with sebum. But it, the mask itself doesn't really touch the nose area. I had to literally draw it in. Two, this foaming stuff, I'm sure it's cute, um, but it gets in your eyes. Like, look, it's literally sliding into my eye. Let's fix that. Um, I might forgive all of that if it actually works. So we'll see. Let's get the 15, 20 minutes in. See, it's... Oh, God. Oh, God. The things I'm doing for you, skin. Why? Good morning. <laughs> so, I wanted to practice some yoga this morning, right? Because your girl's muscles is so sore from that day. Like, I feel like yoga for skinny people is, like, relaxing and calm. If you are over 322 pounds, okay, that shit ain't calm like your muscles get a workout so yesterday i just crashed i couldn't do anything and today i'm like you know what i really want to practice more um but my muscles hurt so i'm gonna do some stretching so i wanted to do it in my onesie my christmas onesie because i still love it um so i'm like can you work out in a onesie no <laughs> so i'm actually gonna do it in my underwear because i feel like this will be, oh God, you feel that? You feel that? Oh Lord, I can't. Anyway, so let's get some stretching. Okay, so I finished stretching, which was great. And I really need to go do laundry, but I just noticed something. <laughs> it's snowing. Uh, so I bought snow boots, yes, but for some reason they're like not fitting me and they are my size. They're even men's. So I don't know. So I'm going to wear my Adidas and yes, I'm wearing my Christmas onesie. 
to go outside to do laundry. This is 31, okay? <laughs> this is what it looks like. Kids, don't grow up. OOTD though, onesie, Target, sneakers, Adidas, coat, ASOS. Don't judge me, judge your mother. <sighs> random, random vlog session. Uh, so, oven is on. Um, why are we lock sided? Oven is on, right? So as you guys know, I'm fasting, but when you're seeing this, it's because the video went up, no longer fasting. But these are my thoughts. One, I always wanted to be one of those people that read books, and I read very slowly. Like, I, I just can't. Um, but I heard WBD Boyce once say that you should read books with patience, especially books that, you know, exemplify black life. So, first book of the year, Tanahasi Coates, Between the World and Me. As you see, we are already into it, girl. So far, so good. Very interesting. One of the things, though, that's happening is, um, well, the whole point of being on this fast was to, I don't know, I know it was like to find my spirituality again or where am I with that and the more you read the more it challenges it um, and it challenges the identity of who God is to you and who God is to other people and when you mention God it's crazy all the Christians rile up and it's like sit down there are other gods um, but then you want to you want to explore what God means to other people. Like, what is a lot to a Muslim? You know, what is, you know, Ganesh to a Hindu? And what is Jesus to a Christian? And how did all of these things come about? Are they real? You know, so, so much questioning in this fast. And then I start to question, why am I even doing this fast? Do I believe in God? Do I believe in Jesus? Do I believe in this white long-haired man you know is god within myself like nikoski shangi said um and i do believe that to a point absolutely and then you have to explore your own supernatural experiences but were they coincidences or were they just the universe aligning and giving so much so much so i want to make a whole video on my weird journey of finding spirituality outside of my parents and what I was taught as a kid um, and what that entails, you know? <laughs> also, I don't feel well. Um, and then <coughs> with figuring out the whole spirituality thing, I broke the fast one day. It was like a Thursday. Got back on like a Friday and then I broke it again a Saturday and a Sunday. And then I felt sick, guilty. But, yeah. And then it's like random people talking about, oh, I'm unsubscribing because of the video I, I made about black women being greater than God. And, mind you, did not give a denomination, but the Christians. And that's, that's my problem. See, the when you act like that, that pushes people who are not against Christianity, but trying to figure out who they are in that, that pushes them away. One stupid girl was like, oh, um, God is my almighty savior, Jesus Christ, and I am unsubscribing, bitch. Let's just say Jesus is real and he's up there chilling. Do you really think he gives a shit about your playlist? Like, you really think that's his concern? Like, so random. And when I hear things like that, and when I think about the, the brutal violence my mom inflicted on me, Yet she prayed to the same person I am supposed to pray to. It's haunting. It's like, I was supposed to pray to that person? Did he not see? And then I equate my suffering to people who are really suffering. And it's like, does he not see? You know, and it's not Jesus. It's Allah too. Does Allah not see this? Like, so I'm very much grappling with my spirituality and I'm rambling. But this is how I feel right now. And, um... 
I don't know. <laughs> I also feel like <coughs> for my channel, I want to get back to content, you know, like really descriptive content. And I'm going to link some of the videos below that I feel like is the direction I want my channel to go back to. And that's where I want to be. You know, I want to be a representation for real black women who go through shit like poverty, who go through shit like paying off bills and trying to find a relationship and finding who they are in the world, in the supernatural world, in the real world, you know, correlating those two places to one identity, you know? And Trisha Paytas is freaking crazy. She is. But I think what you see from Trisha is that her whole channel is just the exploration of her life as a thick white woman. And I like that. I like that basis. And sometimes she has content. So I, I want to, I think that's how my channel is. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to do fashion and hauls and all that stuff. Um, but if I happen to buy something, I'll show it. But for the most part, this is a recorded journey. You know, this is journaling and I... Journaling with with pit stops where I, I, I put real content out that is dedicated and comprised to one topic and then viewers view it, weigh in on that subject matter and then we converse about it. And we can even carry it over to another video where I pick up. But lots of stuff going on in the fast and really frustrated about not moving yet. I had to take a few days off and I'm like, oh my God, I can't. Can't think about it right now. So, yeah, guys, um, that's 2019. And the whole thing with spirituality, like, I'm really, really suffering with this. Like, I almost want to just quit the fast because I'm like, this is so pointless. But, I don't know. I went to Target because I had to buy medicine. But, of course, I grabbed a few things that I don't need. Let me show you. You know what? I take that back. I think this might have been the first time I've ever gone to Target and gotten things I need. So I got these fish thingies. So I'm not eating meat on the fast. Pumpkin. Quinoa. Because I want to give up pasta, rice, potatoes. I want to give it all up. Substitute with quinoa. Extra toasty. This warmed up. Bro. That'll kill a cold. Got some of this bad boy. This bad boy. Whoops. This bad boy. We taking down this coal tonight. I got some life water. Um, I've always wanted to get this. I just like the bottle. Brussels, spinach, Colgate, paper towel. Like I said, I think this actually is the first time I've gone to Target and got things that I needed. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now, guys. I think I have like seven more days in the fast. Everything is like packed up as you can see. Yeah. That's it. Really struggling this morning. Struggling with a lot of like identity issues and like substance issues. Like how much longer do I have to like tolerate this life? <laughs> Uh, people always say you should go to therapy I went to therapy it's not I, I don't know it didn't really work for me I just feel like I don't know I can't I don't know how much longer I can do this like, if my life doesn't substantially increase to a point where I I think it's just it's too much pain past present for I think one person I'm ready to go I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready to go it's crazy <laughs> ready Good morning! Hi guys, good morning! Welcome to the vlog. Today is Thursday, January 
17 but whatever <laughs> um so i woke up at 4 30 this morning um besides the year starting being on my fast i got sick and i've been feeling a lot of instability right now and um this morning i got up really early and also you know what clean the living room clean your bedroom address every sense of instability that you're feeling and get it out of the way so my dishes were like piled up uh the things that i packed away were crazy my bedroom was crazy so i just got everything together and i worked from about 4 30 this morning to like maybe six o'clock on just cleaning 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 and now i'm getting ready to go to work so i thought and also i'm feeling a bit manic <laughs> so i'm feeling my best self but i'm always very cautious of that especially coming off of depression and like feeling really unstable about myself and my role right now so i try not to feed too much into that i feel really good hype um because it might not be real but i feel real good at the moment <laughs> so let me show you guys what i'm wearing ootd is super chilled my top is original use men's t-shirt from target my jeans are my lane bryant skinnies and my sneakers are my pink new balances this is the outfit this is what we're working with yes. I also thought about wearing my glasses today but recently I've been trying not to hide as much um, so anytime I'm wearing glasses or anything that alters my facial appearance um, I know it's because I'm feeling a certain way and I want to hide so I am trying not to hide as much uh, so anyway today I'm going to go to work then I want to come home and wash all of my sheets and pillowcases because like I said I've been sick and I don't want those germs reinfecting me and I'm trying to get better and uh, yeah, then I'm gonna write some scripts hopefully and um, film this weekend so there's a lot going on we're coming down to the final stretch of the fast which I have messed up a few times on and I'm just yeah but anyway Let's go. <laughs> We're done. out. We out. Oh, my coat is ASOS. Guess who's late? Oh my God, I love being late. Oh, so good. So yeah, like I have the funniest story so <laughs> one of my students today he was like oh you know when I grow up I want to be an astronaut and I was just like oh that's really cool so <laughs> I'm looking at him like oh you know that's such a great idea and he goes ah nah I don't want to be an astronaut I want to be a youtuber and I was just like have we begun <laughs> equating astronauts and youtubers so that's the future people that is the future um my friend Liz is texting me. Oh my God, is this not recording? Okay, so I'm on my way now because I have to go to the post office to finally post my grandmother's Christmas card. But also I had this like thing on Instagram where I gave away one of the Christmas leaves, stockings, and I need to mail that as well. So, oh my God, there's a dog. No. Good morning. It is 6.50 in the morning. Everything is packed up. I'm ready to move. I am. <laughs> so my frustrations with not moving yet, and it's already the 20th of January, is a little high. Um, and the, there was two places that I really kind of started turning the wheel with that did not go through. And there's one more place, but it won't be ready till February 15th. So I feel very overwhelmed as far as like, maybe this isn't gonna happen at a rate where I can enjoy it peacefully. Um, but I am prepared and um, yeah, so that's the question. Will I ever move? Of course I will, but when? So anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.